Welcome back to Trails to Azure, video number 101 so far. So yes, I'm in Amorka Village because we have to do uh, this next side request, which is this, Stranger Danger. We're going to go help out the chief again, because probably the son is also involved. But plus, uh, we got this uh, interesting stranger here. I wonder who it is, this suspicious man. And I believe, um, what's his name? Uh... Harold should be around here, right? In the Marco village. Uh, the Hayworths. Yeah, Mr. Hayworth. Yeah, because his car is right here. <laughs> now, what I did off screen, I did some grinding a bit while I'm making my way to Amarco village. Just killing some monsters on the road, the old Amarco road. I tried to do the fishing duel battle against uh, the Kaguya, that girl, who, because I really want that fishing spot, but I'm still not ready yet. However, I did do some fishing off screen, some more, um, one right here and, uh, one also in residential district in Crossbell because, um, I need more of that, um, this one, Kasagin, because again, you need to, to get, uh, use this fish, small fish to catch bigger fish, right? Use this as bait, but, um... I think I need a better fishing rod. I just don't know when I get a, a better fishing rod, I guess, or... I don't know, we'll see. Because I still have only two fishing rods. Now, I think, uh, yeah, we have to go to the, um... So, for today's video, we're just gonna do a side request. So, I'm gonna focus on... So, I just let the viewers know what I did off-screen. Uh, yep, there's Mr. Hayworth right here. So, they have a conversation. Uh, so yeah, if you guys remember, they uh doing an argument, but now it's, this is different now. I don't know what he's doing now. <laughs> you know, they've been standing there while they're talking to each other, but that's pretty funny, but oh well. Oh, Mr. Hayworth is here too. Yeah, I just noticed because you guys didn't see his car. <laughs> there you are. So I've been waiting. Yeah, sorry it took too much time but so yeah it's nice that uh mr hayworth or he's been helping a lot of he's been helping here a lot especially in the first game trails from zero those events been happening the wolf attack but no it's freaking robachi and the silly dogs uh warhounds whatever yeah. huh Consult with the SSS. Okay, uh, just explain it to us. Professional investigation. Yeah, you can let Lloyd handle this. <laughs> this must be a serious issue. Yep, his son is involved. Complicated. So let's see if um, I try my best to understand what's been happening here. So, Because you know me, I make dumb decisions. You know, if you want more... DP points, whatever, in this game. I mean, it tells us everything we need to know. So, my son, Derek, has been acting strangely. Uh-oh. Sinister? Man, that's sad. I don't think he is that, that bad, right? Sinister, but... Is that bad? I mean, he's your son, but... I don't know the details yet. As a matter of fact, I don't know what's going through that boy's head. Huh. I'll no longer be doing business with him. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's always here, you know, doing business, trading, and well, ever since we started doing business, yeah. I came to Chief told him today because I was afraid had been some kind of misunderstanding, yeah. I mean Mr. Hayworth man, he's always he always support this village. So what in the I intend to wrong Mr. Hayworth like this? Losing a customer in him would have been grave loss for our village. So I'm just fully aware of Huh. Yeah, so who is this stranger?
We need to go find this stranger. Probably manipulate. I don't know, like, what he's telling the son, Derek. So, a certain questionable individual came to mind. So, Derek has been meeting, yeah, with a, oh, a foreigner from out of state recently, huh? to get this foreigner for us. All right, let's see who it is. It would be simply speak with your son yourself, but yeah, but unfortunately the son won't listen to him, his father, right? So, yeah, don't think that's our call, Tio Tot, but there's to say so, but the young lady is correct. Derek and I have been odds on how to best run. Yeah, because again, Derek likes to change things in the village back then. But his uh, father, the chief, told to like, disagree. He wants to keep it old school, you know, for a long time. You know, keep it tradition. But, confront him about this, but I could never get to... Yeah, see, he just, he doesn't want to talk about it. He, just, he always ignores his father. Like, he always get away. And as his father, it pains me to admit that. So, well, it doesn't matter anyway. So SSS is going to help us out. And then hopefully the father will talk to his son, you know, at the end. So no wonder you decided to consult us. Yeah, just call the SSS for help. I mean, we'll help anything. And that about brings us to speed. So we'll begin with, yeah, we just got to check out that foreigner person. The stranger danger. <laughs> See the name. All right, so we're going to go ask the villagers around, you know, for clues or questions. All right. Derek and Elkin are delivering produce to the city right now. Okay. Everything we can, Mr. Hayward. Let's begin real quickly. Hold on, anything else? Yeah, thanks. I hope I did the correct... Uh, oh, boy. We'll find out why is he doing this, but... We'll see about this foreigner. Alright, so, uh, let's see. In our detective notebook, we gotta ask some questions here, so... Uh, be working with the chief's son, so Derek behind Chief Toto's back. So let's go speak with the villagers to learn more. For clues. Blues clues. No. Right, Tio? Looks for some blues clues. Alright, anyways, hold on. Just double checking. I remember there's a book. No, I don't remember. And Trails from Zero, it's been a while. My bad. My bad memory. Hmm. So let's go talk around, uh, ask these kids. So we come into the village, gave us oh, a what? Yo, you're not supposed to talk to strangers, man. Stranger danger. Thought he'd yell at us for getting his clothes all dirty, but he didn't. Man, it's a good thing. Nice people. What? So he gives some kids candy? That's kind of creepy. Wait, there's something up with that. Oh, monocle guy. Acts like he smiles all bit. So he wears a... I don't know how you explain it. It's like it's different than glasses. It's a monocle. Like he, it's like a glass thing from his right or left eye. I don't know. Like a gentleman, but like they're hiding something. Wait, he acts nice and he smiles all big, but his eyes look like the. So we're dealing with maybe another noble, I guess, because that's how rich people they wear those monocles. I, I don't know. Spank Camille the other day, his butt. Yeah, because that's what you get for uh, talking to strangers, you know. Got the foreign guy's clothes dirty, but instead of getting mad, he gave us... Oh, I see. See, because he was trying to calm down and... Mom still spanked me, though. <laughs> okay, so... Can't wait to see him. I bet he's a nasty... Another nasty... Uh, um, what do you call it? Um, huh. Cheerful fella. 
is he a noble or something or he's never without a smile something about it really puts me to, at ease Th that's the thing when i was playing the trials of, well basically around trials of cold steel one and two and i think three also because you know that involves between commoners and nobles there's a lot of i mean not all nobles are that evil because there's a lot of evil, bad nobles out there, rich um, dudes that they like to take over things and steal property or, you know, a lot of things been happening that I've been going through all the side quests um, in Trials of Cold Steel 1, 2, 3. And I think Trials of Cold Steel 4, I, I'm not sure if it involves with some certain nobles, but I mean, things change. I mean, oh, it looks like we got an in, important clue here. So yeah, that's what happens, what I've been thinking. It's really sad though, these rich people really want to take over these lives, you know, commoners. I have to describe the men, I might say, wait, consider it. Huh. They actually got his clothes, oh, good for him, but hold on. Rather than raise a fuss. Gave him, yeah, that's why we talked to the kids, gave candy. I didn't decide whether to thank, compliment, or apologize to him. He had me speechless. Uh, guy gives candy. Cheerful fellow. I don't know. Could be someone new or... That's the thing. I want to figure out who it is, but... I have a bad memory, but it could be someone new or uh, someone familiar. But we'll see. Let's go check the item shop. I haven't been here like a lot. He's got a keen eye, I can tell you that much. Man's become treated with. Huh. Uh, honey, huh? Rabbing about it being a surefire hit. He could sell across the entire continent. What is he a trader? Yeah, is he a trader? Huh. That's so. Kind of, but... Huh. Kind of a merchant. Okay. Interesting information. Man, that's a lot of honey because, you know, again, they raise... Uh, they have lots of bees here in honey. Uh, like what? Lecter's <laughs> from Orcus Tower. That was... That was hilarious, Lecter. Yeah, you know, I could see the bees. <laughs> Jeez. I've been guy in the village lately who's who's dressed to the ah dressed to the nines. He told Gramps I was a keep up a letter. Hold the phone. No way. No way. Wait, he wears a monitor. Oh no. Oh no. Stranger danger. Oh no, don't tell me it's... I think I remember who it is. I think I know who it is. I just... I just noticed something. Ah, oh, crap. Oh no. Hey, Straw Hat, one piece. <laughs> I'm just joking. Racing flags. Hey, I could buy that. This is for... Ah, Noel's room. There you go, finally, uh... You know, something for Noel. Oh, jeez, I forgot to buy some ingredients, but I'll do that off-screen. Hold on a second. All right, sorry, I'm back. Um, okay, because I was sneezing. Now, I I think I got a person in my mind. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Could it be Phantom Thief B? No way. I'm not sure. Does he wear a monocle? I, I'm pretty sure he wears, like, these glasses. I'll forget it. We'll see. I don't know. That's probably my bad guess but I mean he is stranger danger to me if I would have seen him in real life like heck no 
Phantom Thief B? I mean, <laughs> I don't know about that guy, but... We'll see who it is. No, wait, I don't think it's Phantom Thief B. I'm not sure. I don't think he's really a merchant. But dude, those Ouroboros members, they can do whatever they want, but... I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the hotel. I need more clues. Who the heck is this person? He wears a monocle, he's like a trader, so let's talk to... Yep, there you go. So, I'll skip that, so... Oh, the man has been staying here on... Off, so... It's pleasant enough to go be around. Very polite at that. Okay. Can you tell me what the color is he wearing or whatever? Or we happen to know this man's... Yeah, what's his name? Oh, Minith. Unless it's Phantom Thief B who dressed up like Minith or, you know, because you know Phantom Thief B, he likes to disguise him, but no. Okay, so Minith. What? I never heard of it. <laughs> or at least that's what he wrote in the guest registry. Oh. Minith. What? At least we have a name to work. A fake name. I mean, they, back then, these kind of... I don't know, they don't have IDs. <laughs> but he wasn't too chatty. So there's not much to tell. He did call Derek up to his room a couple of times to talk about something or another. Okay. So, my bad, you guys. That's not Phantom Thief B. Not the most game-changing information. But it's something... Cause you know Phantom Thief B, or heck, even one of the the uh, not not Grawl, the Stall Raiders. What's her name? Um, man, those two they've been going around all over around in Arbonia and between the Crossbell. Man, they're very tired. They have like, man, lots of stuff to do around, messing around with the. Uh, oh my God. If you want to thank me, why don't you order some food? Yeah, sure. Give me a recipe. <laughs> I haven't had a recipe for a while. So his name is Minith. Okay, he said the same thing. What about you, uh, Alfred from Batman? I borrow a book called The Mysteries of Crossbell. Huh. Uh, man searching for his lost head. Yeah, that's creepy. It's a spooky one. You don't have a head. How about you can possibly cry out to people asking them to find it? Oh, that's not so scary anymore. <laughs> Ghost story. A nice man has been hanging around here. Um, okay, nice, but I hear he's famous foreign company. I've never heard him brag about it. Huh. Around the block a few times. He made a sense my... Uh-oh. Cheered on. What a great guy. Okay. Hold on. Oh, gosh damn it! I missed this one! This is the one that Lloyd really likes. The, the Oh, yeah, I gotta remember for that... um. Recipe, well, not recipe, uh, we gotta go back, uh, well, tomorrow or next day for that, um, one in the Ursula Hospital, because she told us to come back in two days or something. Damn it! I forgot about this! See, again, besides books, and besides talking to chefs or people, you gotta pay attention for posters like this, and then you'll learn the recipe. You know what, let's do a recipe real quick. I mean, this is delicious. This one. Oh, yes. This is very delicious, especially if you go to Japan. Um, yeah, why not? I'm going to try... Wait, hold on. Who's good? Oh, of course, Lloyd. That makes sense. Because, yeah, he's going to write a report. He loves it. There you go. Lloyd. I can do it. You can do it without that quartz. Come on. There we go. Heaping omelette rice. So, restore 60... Oh, it's not bad. I do like the CP and some more healing. 
So that's it. Uh, you know, I, I just make a bad one. Sorry about that. So who's bad cooking at it? Oh, gosh damn it. No, wait. Oh, I forgot. Triangle is the... Okay, okay, so... Man, you're not good at making fried rice? Spicy bumblet rice. What in the... Oh, it's an attack... Uh, I just didn't understand you can use food as weapons. Jeez, but it's a waste of food. It just reminds me of Brock. Again, throwing that donut at... Primate. All right. Anyways, uh, hold on. If there's any guests upstairs, we could ask some more questions. So sorry, this might be a little long video. Huh? As long as you're enjoying too. So I think I already got this one. Yeah, car freak. You cocky little freak. <laughs> sorry. I just love that in um, what is that called? Uh, shoot, I forgot the name of that game now. Oh, oh, that's all the clues. Blues clues. All right, so this man, his name is Minith, and he's believed to be a foreign merchant. So yeah. So I guess I was totally wrong. Kind man. I don't think it's Phantom Thief B, but if it was him, then gosh damn, he's been messing around with us a lot then, but... Type of Curtis and P. Okay, carrying with kids. Wait. Wait. And he wears a mono... Never mind. I was thinking of a different person. who I, I think I know another person who loves kids, but I'm not sure, but we'll see. On the other hand, we don't know why he's here in the first place, and that's suspicious in and itself, so that's a good point. I don't believe that name, Minith. Probably it's a different name. Didn't show his real name, but... It's your son is secret, so that don't pass the smell test. Wait, look over by- uh-oh, entrance. Uh-oh. What the? Is that him? No, that's Elkin, the one who went with their- Oh yeah, because they were uh, selling some stuff in the city. Yeah, crossbell. Okay, so where's Derek? What in- Alright, let's go talk to him. Ask him some more questions. <laughs> yeah, where's Derek? Got a couple of things we'd like to ask. Yeah, you're busted. You're under arrest. <laughs> no, it's chugging out. Came back to about my shiny new... What? Your shiny new orbital truck. What the? Oh! I think I totally forgot. I'm not sure. I forgot that maybe in Trails from Zero, I seen this guy always working on his truck. Yeah, you're always around here. And now you got a new shiny truck. But it's the Burn Company latest model. Now you got a new one. Oh, for what? Min gave it to me for real cheap. Wait, Vern Company? Hold on just a moment. So by Min Minith, you mean the foreigner who has been visiting the village recently, correct? What? How much? Get this. That's still expensive. I can't afford that either. I'd rather buy uh, Evergreens. So forget that vehicle. We got our own better vehicle than that. <laughs> Only 50... Well, to be honest, in this game... Yeah, Orbal vehicles are really expensive back in the time. You know, because it's trust from Zero and Azure. But, but wait until technology kicks in. And yeah, Trails of Cold Steel games like 3 and 4. And, and they're everywhere. God is having a man. I can see you're turning as green as a. Yeah. Jeez. So, maybe, yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Mech, mechanophilia. Wow. What the heck? So, the average market value of a new truck should be nearly. Yeah. Half a million. Wow. But which makes the amount you paid really low. What the heck? 
So that would be 90% discount. Wow. Sounds more like a charity than a bargain. So what's going on here? He said the price cut was so that we could make our work easier without breaking our budget. He and Derek have been working out some sort of plan. I guess it's coming along. Man, I think it's starting to make sense now. Because again, what Derek been arguing with his father, he wants to make changes, like better improvement for a Marco village. But the chief, he decided no. Man. So he got a brand new truck to make work, uh, you know, easier. And that minute, I tell you, my hat's off to him. Huh. A plan. Shoot, Derek said I'm not. <laughs> Whoops. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Pretend you didn't hear that. Anyways, this Minith guy is the real deal. Yeah, but it's not over yet. Maybe there might be a dark side. I don't know. We'll see. So wait a minute. Did you come back? Oh, yeah. So where's Derek? She said that you and Derek went to the city together to deliver produce. But Derek told me that he'd catch a bus back. At what? No, I bet he's going to talk with that guy again, that uh, Minith guy. He said that he has some business to take care of at the hotel. No. Oh, okay, so we need to go there. Entertainment district, gotcha. Another meeting with... Yep, I knew it. Another meeting. Let's go there. This could be our chance. Alright, thank you for telling us that, but... Man, he loves that truck. So, never mind. Well, he was working with the old truck in that parking lot before back then in Trails from Zero, but then he's so happy he got his new truck. Man, 50000 that's a good deal. Really good deal. So I knew it. He's a noble. He's a rich guy, of course. That's why he's been talking with... Um, De why am I using that? <laughs> Let's use the... Jeez. I'll see you guys there at Entertainment District. So I'm back. Uh, I did save just in case. So let's do a police raid. <laughs> nah, no way. Because that's a dumb idea doing SWAT team or police raid on the uh, new Blanc. Heck no. Is it this room? No. Oh, that makes sense. That locked door here. Let's knock. Oh, they are in there. So, all right. We'll meet up again tomorrow then. Be as well. I want to see this person inside. Busted. <laughs> nah. So, pardon us. Derek from Marika Village, correct? Yes. So, I probably should have opened with this, but we're with the Crossbow Police. Yeah, SSS. So, we have a few questions we'd like to ask. That's so. Mother sent you here, didn't he? Huh. So he even called the police, huh? That's just rich. Man. Well, he had his reasons. I already know his game. He's snooping around to find out what I'm up to, right? So, well, I have nothing to hide. Ask me anything you want. Huh. Not the reaction I was expecting. I'll get straight to the point then. So we were told that you've been meeting with a secret... A secret in the, with a man named Minith recently oh, yeah but can I see him <laughs> whatever it's not as though as my father can do anything about it but Minif has been helping me out with a little project of sorts yeah see I knew it revolutionized but you know to be honest dude you gotta have permission it's not really your village yet but until man it's kind of sad you know but you gotta have father's permission but you know, son and father stuff, but yeah, make a lot of changes. That's what I noticed about this. Re yeah. So why would you keep something so important from your father? When, attention or not, doesn't it concern him? It's as much as it does you. Because, uh, you know, there's some downside if you want to do some changes, but you'll see. So, I tried to talk a lot to my father about this kind of thing more than what, but I can count, but he... Yeah, all he ever says is that I've lost sight of our ideals. And that making drastic changes won't solve anything. Yeah, well, you got to listen to your father, man. I mean, he's the chief. He knows about the village more than his son. But, 
But if things continue the way they are, a rural village like ours has no future. So real meaningful reform is the only way for us to keep America alive. My father doesn't understand that one bit. Well, I agree, but I see. And it was from there that you encountered this. So yeah, that's why he showed up, this Minith guy. So unlike my father, he actually willing to listen to my ideas. So in fact, he helped me uncover a huge opportunity. Okay. Okay. Sorry about the noise in the background. So I plan on working with him to launch a major enterprise in the near future. Just mind your own beeswax, man. That's all I have to say to you. So you got what you came for, right? I need to get back to the village, if you don't mind. Um, okay. Let's go see this guy. He's still in the room, right? Man. Yeah, he totally blew us off. Yeah, but what about the Minith? You're thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe he could try speaking with this Minith. Yeah, let's go talk to him. I want to see him. You have a better idea of what this <laughs> Jack Jam Jamoki is all about. Yoink! Who is it? Middle-aged voice. I didn't order any room service. Excuse me, we're looking for Mr. Minute. Oh, that's for bothering you, but we're with the Crossbow Police SSS. Yeah, we have a couple of questions to ask you. Oh dear, you're police officers. Why didn't you say so sooner? Come on in, the door's unlocked. Okay, so. Alright, so let's see. Maybe he's more of a wheeler dealer than we think. Come in. Huh. Yeah, there you go. There's the monocle. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Minith. What brings you here today? So... Okay. I'm trying to remember. But maybe, I don't know. I don't know this guy. Maybe he's a... Uh, I don't know. If I would have played Trails of the Sky, but I don't know. Probably he's new. Like I said, we have a simple question we'd like you to answer. So, be alright. Officer of the law, so there's some kind of trouble in the area, perhaps. They're telling us about yourself. Surprise, so, but seeing a police officer, I suppose, there's no reason not to cooperate. Okay, so. My name is Minith. I am a corporate executive. Range from product development to sales and operations. And visiting America Village to secure an important business deal on behalf Oh, the Quincy Company. I never heard about that. Huh, Quincy. Oh, she knows. So did you say the Quincy Company? So what about them? In a sense, the Quincy Company is a famous international... Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to remember, but I don't know if it also involves in the Trails Cold Steel games, but oh well. Let's just keep going. One of the most prominent names in their field. You can even get their products here in Crossbell. Huh. I think I used to buy their chocolates as a kid. Yeah, no wonder why he gives candy to kids, but paid more attention to those rappers than... <laughs> Jeez. Brand blind in my youth. So you see, despite working for the company, I've never been one for sweets. So long standing reputations. Yeah, that makes sense. Now I see why he's interested on honey in a Marco village because, you know, it's true that honey has been used on certain candy, but. My apologies, I didn't mean to get us off track with my personal milestones, so it's fine. We're the one who asks. So, about the business, deal with Amarco Billet. Yeah, so what about that? Yeah. Oh, did he now? Okay, so I suppose there's no sense in keeping those details under wraps. 
Yes, Derek and I have indeed built a strong working relationship over the past several days. Yeah. <laughs> but of course! <laughs> so the Quincy Company is constantly seeking out new opportunities to grow our country. Okay, so as such, the head office tasked me with the project to that effect. I was to gain a foothold from which we can expand into Crossbell. Oh. Sorry, this might be a little long video, my bad. The luxurious, high grade, yep, I knew it, honey, produced in the Marco Village, that's why they're interested. That honey is made of lotus flowers from the village fields. Yep. Man. So, and he should that the honey is pro the product of nature's bounty, passing through the ages of generations. Uh huh. I call it the American Honey Company. <laughs> wow. American Honey Company. So, my bad, you guys. So, I'm going to stop the video right here. Time's up. You know, i got to keep it around 35 minutes. Don't want the video too long. So, uh, because, you know, I, I hate uploading longer videos because it takes so much time. And my connection is kind of randomly doo-doo sometimes. So, anyways, uh, this is Ray on Trails to Azure. Next time, we'll finish up this side request and see what happens if we can trust this guy. I mean, he seems okay so far. And he's, uh, you know, responsive yeah so we'll see so thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time hopefully you guys enjoy this and goodbye everyone